Welcome back. I just wanted to make a, a quick video showing the final mounting of the Ditron scales to the bridge port. Um, this was all done using these pieces, these kind of Lego pieces that came with the scales. And uh, I was trying to hit, there were some existing holes from an old DRO that are in the mill in various places. You can see a couple of them here, but I used these two that were in the uh, saddle and then there were some on the the knee for that scale and you can see the green light on there and another hole here. Uh, I had to drill these out because they're quarter 20 holes but I actually ordered it from uh, AliExpress with the size to hit the holes and they got it pretty much perfect so kudos to them for that and then just routing this back a couple zip ties a couple pads uh, self stick pads I just didn't want to drill any holes at this point in the mill so just use these um, self stick pads with some slack and then it goes back around and you can see the it's hard to get back here but here is the actual so here is the actual touch GRO box just mounted to a couple of magnets stuck on the back of the mill and a lot of excess cable there from the uh, DRO scales just because they're designed to come up to the straight to the display and you don't have to do that with touch DRO and then for the X, it's a similar. Again, there were holes existing, so I was hitting them. Goes across, and another couple of the Lego pieces from the scales. Put that right in place there. I found it pretty easy. It's pretty uh, tolerant of the spacing. Just got it close, and it picked right up. I'll go around and show the other side. All right, there it is coming off the scale. One problem I did hit is the uh, drain hole for the oil troughs were in the way, so I had to get some flat plugs. We're not currently using any coolant. Uh, if we do have to switch to coolant, I'll have to rethink that. And I did zip tie it there just to keep that first piece contained and not to get gummed up in the slide. And then again, followed around. This is around the other side, a couple of pads, and back to the Touch DRO box. And then I slapped this together real quick. We'll probably do something better, but this is just a little easel that holds the tablet and with a quick clamp just on the end. I'll probably work something out, but I was able to slap that together for now. It actually works pretty well. It's a good spot and you can move it around when you need to. And you can see it, you can see it moves with the slide as it's supposed to. It does stutter a bit, but it seems to not lose pulses, just the display stutters. It's probably a function of that really old tablet. And that's the completed job.